You aren't coming to my party? You didn't go to work yesterday? These are a special kind of question that you're probably answering incorrectly. Don't worry, you're going to learn all about answering negative questions in this lesson. And make sure you watch till the very end where you'll find some practice to make sure you really understand this lesson. These negative questions use the word order of a statement rather than question word order. In this video, I'm using only negative questions or questions with not or never in them. You aren't coming to my party. You didn't go to work today. Both aren't and didn't include not in the contraction. Let me create a situation for you. I've been planning this awesome party for a long time and I expect that you'll be coming. I see you a few days before the party and we're talking. You start telling me about a trip you're taking with your cousin to Las Vegas this weekend. I'm so surprised by this information since I think my party is the most important event in the world and I can't believe you would choose to go to Las Vegas instead of attending my party. I do not say, are you coming to my party? Or aren't you coming to my party? Although I could say both of these things. But I'm so surprised by this information that I say, you aren't coming to my party? I just need to confirm this information. Although the word order is that of a statement, it has a rise in pitch at the end telling you it's a question or that I'm looking for a response from you. This special type of question is generally used when the listener is surprised by the unexpected information and wants to confirm that they understood correctly. The confusing part is how to answer these negative questions. It's the opposite of what you might expect. If it's a true statement, in this case, that you are not coming to my party, you answer in the negative. The answer you need to give is no. Now I know this doesn't seem logical, but you are actually confirming for me that you are not coming to my party by saying no. To avoid confusion and to be more polite, it's best to answer with a short phrase instead of just the word no. Say, no, I can't come, or no, I'm not coming. I'm sorry, but I have other plans. The answer to these negative questions is just reaffirming the negative by repeating the no. Let's practice so you get the hang of it. You didn't go to work yesterday? Assuming this information is true, how would you answer this? You could simply say, no, I didn't. But again, since this is unexpected or surprising information, you really should explain the reason. How about saying this? No, I didn't. I wasn't feeling well. Here's a little practice for you. How would you answer these questions? Leave me your answers in the comments section below and I'll tell you if you're right. You didn't do your homework again? Your mom doesn't like chocolate? You've never seen a Harry Potter movie? Did you like this video? If so, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification icon if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave me your answers below.